back so soon. So, there's so much building work. You probably can't even hear me. We're back in Cambridge. As I announced, I'm helping out on a course here. It's run by the company Oxford Summer Courses, but it's being held in Cambridge for the first time this year. So I'm like a student helper. Right now, I'm actually quite cold. To be honest with you, I was highly optimistic about the weather, wearing shorts. It's really early, it's currently just gone eight. I've been on the move since six, but I'm really awake actually, so that's not too bad. Oh my goodness, wow. It's so quiet this morning. It's so different being here not when it's officially term or during the academic year, because A, it's really quiet as I just said, and it's, well, I suppose it's really early in the morning as well. So yeah, but. Look, we've still got loads of bikes though. Nothing changes in games around here. It's weird not going straight to Queens. We're going to Sydney Sussex, that's where I'm staying. Okay, so this is Sydney Sussex. Sainsbury's is literally just there. That's where we're heading. Okay, so I've arrived guys and got my little badge. Right, so we're going to King's College Chapel and we've got some to come along. So we've got Lucy here who's a student helper. And we've got, I don't know names yet. Borja. 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 <laughs> and then we've got some others who came along. We haven't got that many. So I've never been to King's Chapel, so this is my first time as well. Have you been? Have you seen? Lucy's already been. Are we allowed to go in when we go? Sweet. Heavy. Waiting to go in. I'm so excited to go in. The chapel. King's Chapel, this is by the way, if you didn't catch it, it's King's Chapel. I am an eager beam. Everyone else is down here. I am eager to go in King's Chapel. Because, you know, when it's stress free, not doing work in Cambridge, may as well enjoy Cambridge at its finest. Push, Holly. I am pushing. No. Oh, yes. Meme. Oh, hello. Oh wow, it is stunning. Guys, this is what I call a chapel. I mean like ceiling goals. You see that ceiling? And the, I think it's supposed to be quiet in here. I had to put my phone on silent, sorry mum. So my dad has played in here actually. I've sung in here. Have you? I forget you. So what's for this little door? Doors and doorways. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Stunning. Let's do one. Yee. Lucy. Yeah. Am I gonna have to light the candles more? I hate, I don't like the fire. I mean, maybe lighting a candle wasn't the best idea. You do it, I'll you light do it. The candle. Lucy will light the candle and I shall observe. This is how it's done. <laughs> well not, I've just burnt my finger. Ow, ow, ow. That's why I don't like fire. If we ever get the chance to come to King's College Chapel, it's beautiful. But then, Queen's is also nice. And this is basically King's grounds. I mean, they had to have a crane somewhere in the background, didn't they? The cows! The cows! I love the cows. <laughs> So King's College Chapel tour kind of turned into a college tour of all different colleges. So we're now in Pembroke because Lucy wanted to check her pigeonhole. Shh. Oh, you've got, you've been busy. I know. Great hall, very pretty. It smells of food. So Lucy's just giving us a, like an overview of the history of the college because she knows so much about it. She's a Pembassador apparently. I should be a come a Queen and Queen Ambassador. I literally know not that much about the history of Queens. Literally, life goals as a Cambridge student. <laughs> I work over there. And all the Pembroke students just come out here, straighten them out of bed there. That is a life goal. We've got Margot, Katerina, and Alex, and they've just been on like a break thing. Have you been yeah. studying yeah. this morning? No. Uh, I, I have. I had a class. So, Katarina had a class. Doing a math competition. Oh, okay. Yeah. A math competition. <laughs> yeah. And then now you were just like. Chilling. They were chilling yeah, on the grass. We're going to lunch in a minute. So, yeah, you're going to have so lunch in a minute. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. And how are you enjoying it in Cambridge? Is it good? Yeah, yeah it's been good. Yeah. 
have a boat. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're just going back to Sydney, Sussex now. And yeah, it's really hot. It's kind of really sunny today. It's getting a bit hotter now. Currently, I've just been given the keys to my room. So it's about midday and there's my denim jacket but anyway no so this is kind of a very quick little room tour of the room that i've been given very kindly so this is a massive massive wardrobe kind of come in this is the general overview of the room it's quite big it's actually got a fridge in the room which is actually pretty cool i just turned it on now so we've just got a view onto another part of Sydney Sussex. Yeah, the shower is down the corridor, which I will have to use. I haven't looked at it yet, but I'm gonna go suss it out. Oh, I've also got on my bed, I forgot to show you. Some body soaps and stuff. I don't know if they're vegan. And then the corridor shower is here, I believe. Oh. So we've got a shower, which is fine. Um, and then a toilet. So that is, where my room is in this Sussex house and then it's really pretty it's like a balcony area here and then just down here uh, like the shop so it's a bit se separated so it's a like a little island so it's not on the main part of Sydney Sussex but yeah now we need to actually get back in here to go out or I could go down there I wanted to show you the way I came in because it was really pretty this is where I came in before. So this is like another balcony area. Um, and this is obviously part of the main campus of Sydney Sussex there. So lots of greenery. And so it's like a balcony area and that's where I just came out. The other entrance, loads of bicycles. Now I'm just trying to find the way to the office. And you know when someone leaves you and they're like, you'll be fine getting back and it's like, yeah, yeah, sure. No. Never find my way back, but I believe it's along here. No, that's definitely wrong. Holly, definitely wrong. I'm lost. I'm going around in circles now. So guys, I have been wandering around for the past like half an hour trying to decide what to eat because I didn't actually realize that lots of places like Pret, E, m and lots of places actually do vegan options and I've never actually had to buy lunch out. I don't do it very often at all. So I was like stuck for choice and that just goes to show how mainstream that veganism is becoming and I'm so, so pleased. But anyway, I finally decided I went m and in the end. This it's called the nourish bowl it's edamame and black rice i wanted to try the black rice in particular it has some falafel and um what's this some cashew nut dip thing i also went for some raspberries because they were reducing them down i was like yes please and then a really nice looking conference pair like that just caught my eye and i was like yes so i came to five pounds which wasn't actually too bad so guys i have been given these which are a pair of snapchat um, spectacles I think they're called and basically I've been taking over the Oxford summer courses snapchat account today basically when I press this button press this button it flashes and then it takes a 10 second video and it imports it to my phone which I can then upload which is pretty cool so literally I've been walking around all day like this double glasses look look it's great and <laughs> Look at this. That is what I call tragic. <laughs> I've been seeing myself three times. We're going to the olive grove. The olive grove. Are you hungry, guys? Yes. Is everyone hungry? Yes, I'm freaking starving. <laughs> That means you. And I know that he's going to be showing you a documentary, so he's very excited about And then second, you've got Lauren Logan, who's going to be doing a presentation about public speaking. And then you've got Sagnik Jutta, who is speaking from a perspective of a journalist and activist for LGBT issues. And then finally, you've got Francis Grant, who is talking about using the immune system to cure cancer. I'm so tired. It's been such a long day. I've been up since 5 a.m. this morning. It's currently like 10 o'clock and I knew I would have forgotten something. I didn't realise at the time, but I realise now I forgot to bring a towel. 
and shower gel. But Sydney says it came to the rescue with this little thing that I showed you guys before and they provided with me with towels. I am very, very happy. Otherwise, I would not have had a towel. Can you imagine that? Drip drying. And I would not have had any soap to wash myself. Good morning, guys. It is Wednesday today and so I've just got up, got dressed and stuff and I'm gonna go and have some breakfast. What I was trying to say is, I've got too much water in my mouth. Did you get that? Clearly, that was what I was trying to say. These things are really good for travel. I believe they're from Lush. You can't even see what they are and I'm raving about them. Please ignore my makeshift toilet bag toothbrush stuff. So these are like mouthwash tablets. Um, one of them's not really a whole one, but you just put them in your mouth with a bit of water and it works just like mouthwash. But the thing is you don't have to carry a bottle or extra liquid rounds. So they're really good. And I might invest in some of these, more of these when I go on holiday or something. And yeah, they'd obviously be really good for traveling. So I highly recommend they're from Lush and they were some free samples. That grass looks too well kept to walk on. That says private. It's the master's garden. But this, I mean, come on. You know what? Like, you can play relay races on this bit of grass. But I'm kind of on my own. So, update. I've just had a message from Lucy saying, Lucy is a student helper if you didn't catch that. Um, saying that some of the students are in Starbucks working because today they're doing self-study so I need to go and find some of them to talk to them and catch some of them working to know to get all those atmospheric vibes mission one find students in Starbucks they've already worked out the students in Cambridge work in coffee shops I don't work in coffee shops I work in my room I've attempted to work in coffee shops it just didn't really work too well but clearly these kids like working in coffee shops so guys we're in Starbucks I found them mission complete but basically we just tried to do a boomerang and Zoe got a hot drink all over her leg I'm so sorry but we got the boomerang in the end so it's fine I need to go and find Am Amna, who is a girl on the course and she's doing medicine. I think she is a really nice girl. I met her yesterday. She's so sweet and she is also a vegan and she's very keen for me to come to her room. So I'm going to chat with her now. That is my next mission of the day. This is Amna, everyone. Hey. <laughs> if mine doesn't have this fireplace. It's the coolest part of the room. Is it? Like, look how cute is it? Yeah, it is really cute. Look at that. So I've met a fellow vegan. And vegans in for life. Yeah, <laughs> vegans for life. She went vegan half a year ago, didn't you? Yeah, I did. We've just been having a very deep, good conversation about loads of different things. Yeah, I think we have been chatting for over an hour. Yeah, it's been such a good conversation. I've been distracting you from your essay, but... Yeah, I'm supposed to be writing my meditation. What, well, you're writing it on? You're writing it on, like, hearts and yeah, circulation. And circulation system. Yeah. And... This is it that can develop in the system and how can I treat them as a doctor? Yeah, and she's gonna be an amazing doctor, I bet you, if you do medicine. Yes. And yeah, I was telling her about the Rainbow Cafe, which I always promote on my channel because it's in Cambridge and you're gonna go there, aren't you? Definitely yeah, try it. I am. I guess tomorrow. Yeah, amazing food and stuff. So yeah, I've just been Vegan talking. desserts. Vegan desserts, I told stuff. you. Peanut butter cheesecake. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> is it Arabic? No, that's Hebrew. Hebrew. You want to see that uh, weird yeah. with them? This is Hebrew. This is Sorry, Hebrew. I broke what my did laptop. you do to your laptop? <laughs> I broke it one day before I came here, so I didn't have time to fix it. How do you say hello? In which language? Which one is better? Okay, so in Hebrew it's Shalom. And Shalom. Yeah. I think I've heard of that. I guess you did. 
Shalom. Okay, shalom. And, then and in Arabic, Arabic. Marhaba. 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 Yeah. Shalom, marhaba. We're teaching her Arabic and Hebrew. Holy, that's Arabic. That's different for different letters. What? <laughs> While in Hebrew, it's like this. So it's disconnected. Okay, let me try. There you go. Just like this. That? Yeah. That like what, right? Yeah. With a dot? Yeah. It's fine. Doesn't even fit in. Okay, right, this one. Um, what's that? Is it like a G? <laughs> no. <laughs> kind of. Like that? Uh, Ish. Ooh, that one was worse. I'm gonna that one. Gonna eat it. Okay. Is it the first time you're writing it in these languages? Yeah. That's so cool. You're Guys, good. I achieved something today. Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, I can give you a hug. <laughs> I walked around the whole of the city centre of Cambridge. I went to Itsu, then I went to Prep, then I went to MS, went to another Prep, back to Itsu. Thought I was gonna go to Itsu, then I was like, no, I'm gonna go to Prep. So I decided to get this. So I saw it yesterday and thought it looked really good. It's a vegan, it's the chef's special. It's a mango chutney wrap thing and it sounded really good. And then I also got this daily greens juice. So I was like, may as well try something different because I've been to this soon. So with this juice, it's literally got apple, cucumber, lettuce, spinach, celery, ginger, lemon, parsley, antioxidants. It's literally, I think, I believe you shake it up. I never had one of these and it just caught my eye and I was like, I want it. It's like an all natural greens juice. I've never had one of these. Wow, the ginger is strong. A little concoction of health. I haven't had a wrap eating out in such a long, long time. They're tiny little wraps. Oh, it's spicy. This is Alex and this is Kaylee, and they're both. From America. <laughs> Alex is doing international relations, who I sat in a class with yesterday and it was intense, but it was very it good. It was good. And Kaylee is doing business. I like normally vlog like this. Does not so your arm get tired? <laughs> yeah, my arm gets tired. So you know what? I want to get like a- One of the stands, like a selfie Or like stand. a tripod thing to like hold it in. So when I'm trying to vlog other people, I'm literally like, and if they're taller than me, I'm like this. <laughs> and they're very often they're taller than me. You have that one angle where it's like, hey. And one angle where it's like this. Like, <laughs> Try the American accent. Um, I'm so bad at accents. Talk saying. about McDonald's. <laughs> I don't go to McDonald's. Is that good? Yeah. Is it good? <laughs> Can I pass as American? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little think? practice. But a little practice? What do I need to work on? You kind on? of sound Southern. Southern. Like me, because I have the Southern accent a little bit. Like, instead of saying on, I say on. On. And then, well, like, how you turn do you the light on. on? I say I on. On. I turn the light on. I turn the light on. <laughs> on. <laughs> no, it's on. On. Yeah. Like I have a New York family. accent. That's the good one. <laughs> See, I confuse Australian and British. Can you do Australian? Good day, mate. Good day, mate. We're going to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Come, can you try doing British? Come on, Alex. Hello, my name is Alexandra. Snap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not from England. <laughs> that was pretty good. Kaylee. Hello, my name is Kaylee. <laughs> that was good! You guys are good! <laughs> oh my god, I've just been hit by a cyclist. I'm in shock right now. A very kind pedestrian stopped. I was hitting my left side. That's Cambridge for you. So yeah, I come up, not even to study. I'm not even up. During turn time and I get hit by a cyclist. This is the first time of being hit by a cyclist. But I really wanted to come and say hi to the cows. That is basically why. I came over here. Hi cows. Okay guys, turn around, look excited. Smile. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Justin, get in the middle, get the front. Three, two, one, look at all of the cameras all at once, if that's physically possible. Student helper. Mm -hmm. Lucy's ordered off the kids menu. Three items. Three items. So we're on the adults table. That's the... the half of them are older than us. Yeah, they're like the kids table. This looks really good. Butternut squash gnocchi. You sort of look alive. I'm not sure. I'm getting the vibe of zombies. However your evening is good, bad or frankly indifferent, alive or dead I care not because of course I'm here this evening to be your tour guide on our colleges and corpses tour of Cambridge. We are currently on a ghost walk. I thought things were going to jump out, turns out they don't, which is a bit sad but 
So guys, I told Amina to go to the Rainbow Cafe and she's already been today. Yay! I have this like chocolate cheesecake, it was awesome. I, I know. It. Did you think it, it was insane, right? Yeah, I asked him about like the finance about her cheesecake. Unfortunately, it wasn't there. Oh, I'm gonna go the there again. One. And you got the vegan lasagna? Yep. Super cheesy. She got the good. best things. Guys, back been in Cambridge for a year. I didn't realize that was a seven. Cambridge Hangman came to stay. Seven. This is the nicest angle. Went to dinner at the bicycle shop, which is honestly, it's not a vegan restaurant, but they had so many vegan main options. I was so impressed. I was stuck for choice when I had to decide. Also, there was a vegan dessert on the menu, which is really rare, but oh my goodness, it was insanely good. About the um, bike collision as well. I mean, I could have come off a lot worse. So I bruised my lip. Um, my arm is a tinsy bit swollen and it kind of hurts when you straighten it a bit. Here I graze my leg. Oh, hello fluffy socks. My hip came off the worst. Lesson to learn from this, especially in Cambridge, is to watch where you're going.